Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. For today's video, we're gonna be going over some products for breakouts or breakout prone skin. I recently have had some more breakouts because, well, partly hormonal, partly because I was eating a little more sugar than I usually do and that's what does it for me. So I'm gonna cover skincare, obviously, and then I'm also gonna cover some products to cover breakouts. So let's start with skincare. So the first product I do wanna recommend is actually a complete system. I do not have it here to show you because I, or rather Adam, used it up, but it is the BioClarity system, which comes with a cleanser, a treatment, and then a moisturizer, which is awesome. It uses a lot of kind of botanical stuff as well as salicylic acid, which is a really great ingredient to look out for if you have breakout prone skin, if you have clogged pores, anything like that. So I would really recommend that system. I'm not sure if I have a discount or not, but everything I'm mentioning will be linked and listed below. Some other salicylic options I would really recommend. I've talked about these a bunch before. They are both from Paula's Choice. The one I've been using most recently is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting BHA Gel. BHA is salicylic acid. There is alpha hydroxy acid, which is a more kind of surface exfoliant. I always think of that more as kind of for texture or fine lines. And then BHA, beta hydroxy acid, which is salicylic acid, can penetrate a little deeper, get into breakouts, clogged pores. So this is the gel that I've been using. Really recommend this. I use this over the whole face because I am kind of combination blood pores, breakouts, got it all going on. And so I really like that and I use that daily. I will say if you are just starting to use salicylic, there may be a slight kind of adjustment period where your skin may get dry and flaky. So it's definitely best to start with a very small amount and see how your skin reacts and only use it maybe like once a day. And then maybe if you really needed to, you could work up to twice a day and using bigger amounts of the product. But that is something I would say to look out for is that you could get some kind of flaking as your skin is being exfoliated. So the other one is their Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment. They are both 2% BHAs. This one is a liquid, so it really just depends what you prefer, gel or liquid. And I do find when I use salicylic regularly on breakouts, like I said, I will use it over the whole face, but you could also just use a little bit on any spots. It's almost as if the spots don't fully come to a head. They just kind of like shrivel up and then you can like exfoliate them off. The same kind of goes for blackheads when I started using that is that you might just like scratch and a little you know blackhead will come out <laughs> mm, skin so those are some really great salicylic products. I think salicylic is a little bit more gentle than some other treatments out there for acne and breakouts from what I found anyway. So I would really recommend trying those out if you do have breakouts and haven't already. Moving back to cleansers, I should have probably done this in order, but hey, I've had some coffee today. I really like to keep it very simple with cleansers. So I use the One Love Organics Easy Does It Foaming Cleanser. If you do need a little bit more of a kind of treatment cleanser, I would really recommend trying out the Derma E Purifying Gel cleanser. This stuff is black, which is pretty cool. So this uses charcoal and marine extracts, stuff like that. It also has aloe leaf in it, so it's kind of nice and soothing. And I do think this is a really awesome cleanser. In fact, this whole kind of purifying line is a really great one to look out for if you are very oily or breakout prone. I would really recommend that. Moving on to exfoliators. I think exfoliating is super important for anybody's skin, but especially if you are breakout prone, because even once your maybe your breakout is gone, you then do sometimes have like a little scab or like dry skin patch and it kind of seems like it's taking forever to go away. So I would really recommend getting a really good exfoliator for that purpose. I do think exfoliators also help to make any products you use on your skin after you've exfoliated work a bit better because they're able to get deeper and they're not having to like penetrate a layer of dead skin first. So two I would really recommend for breakout prone skin. One is from Derma E. This will probably now be in packaging more similar to the cleanser. This is the older packaging. So this is the Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. This one is also black if you like gothic skincare. This does have a kind of physical exfoliation to it, as well as charcoal, which is obviously good to kind of draw out all of the gross crap from your skin. So I would really recommend that one. In fact, this is empty. <laughs> if you want a slightly more higher end one, this is probably one of the best exfoliators I've ever used. This is the Osea Vitamin C Probiotic Polish, which is a powder. This stuff is pricey 
but you only need to use the tiniest amount and I do think this is gonna last you a really long time. I know not everyone can afford it, that's why I wanted to show you the other option too. But I just mix this either with a little bit of water if I want a very ex kind of extreme exfoliation. If I want something a bit more gentle, you can mix it with another kind of very gentle basic cleanser like the One Love Organics one, or you can mix it with serums to kind of get a little bit of nourishment into the skin as well as exfoliating. So this stuff is awesome and I definitely think having a really good exfoliator is super helpful for breakout prone skin, like I said, because you get that like dry flake afterwards. Now let's do, what should we do next? Kind of treatments. Now I have two mists that I wanted to show you. So this is a toner from Lush. This is the Tea Tree Water. Tea Tree, of course, is awesome for breakouts. I find that this is gentle enough that I can use it whenever. And I also like to switch this into my skincare routine for about the week before I'm gonna get my period because I do always get like the massive, you know, hormonal breakout. So this is a really great one and Lush is pretty easy to come across for most people. So yeah, Tea Tree Toner Water, really great. Another one I wanted to mention is the Complex Beauty Afterglow complexion mist. Now this does have alpha hydroxy acid in it which is more of a surface kind of exfoliator. Now although that might not treat breakouts and blocked pores quite as well as BHA, I do think this is good to treat any kind of scarring or anything you have left over from breakouts. It might not be great for active breakouts necessarily but if you have a lot of texture and scars from breakouts I do think this is a really good one. I would probably not use this in combination with other acids just because you don't want it to be too much for your skin. And I also like to use this on breakouts after I've done spot treatments. So I'll use like a charcoal mask spot treatment. I'll let it dry completely. I'll show you which one in a minute. And then I'll kind of like pick the charcoal off, spray a bit of this on a um, cotton round and wipe any residual away. And I feel like it kind of helps to extra, you know, tighten it up and dissolve any yuckiness. So that is also a really good one. And the mask I was talking about is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. This stuff is amazing for breakouts. You obviously can use this over the whole face if you want to, but I really love to use this as a spot treatment. So as soon as I get even the slightest sign of a breakout, I will put this on it as often as I can. Luckily, I do work from home, so I can just walk around with this on my face all day if I want to. And I definitely found that this one is probably the best I've used as far as drawing out any nasty stuff or drying up spots. It's just awesome and I really do recommend that and Derma E are pretty reasonably priced and easy to come across as well So yeah, can't say enough good things about this Another kind of treatment or serum I wanted to mention is the Paula's Choice Resist Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum Again, I think this is awesome to use for any kind of post breakout residual stuff So any texture you might have scarring or like dark spots from previous breakouts I like to use this at night only and I do think that it really helps kind of speed up the healing Once it's kind of all cleared up, but you might just have like marks left or like I said scars or maybe like dents from any really bad breakouts I do think this does help lessen that and it's also great for kind of fine lines and wrinkles too so kind of a great all-in-one serum and like I said I use that at night. Another product I've been using recently and loving kind of similar to the retinol is the Kipris Moonlight Catalyst Refine and Renew. I do think that this is going to be a bit more gentle so if you don't want to go through the initial kind of um adjustment that can come along with retinol products I would really recommend checking this out they are more pricey but I do think the ingredients in it are incredible they're much more natural they're going to be a bit more gentle on the skin and I do think they are going to give you the same kind of effects as more kind of prescription grade stuff it might just be a little slower but I think your skin is really going to love this and again I would use this for the same thing like just clearing up any residual dark spots any you know scarring or anything like that this is just a really great way to kind of renew your skin skin overnight so I really do love this. And then a spot treatment that I've been loving especially during my most recent sugar breakouts is the Osea Essential Corrective Complex. This does have tea tree in but it also has lavender, rosemary, thyme, uh, grapefruit, a bunch of different really awesome oils that really work to not only kind of take down the inflammation of a breakout, I do think that it helps them heal quicker afterwards too so this is a really great one. It's just a little rollable so you can use it wherever on clean skin obviously. Don't use this on top of makeup or on a dirty face and I do think this stuff is amazing super easy to apply as well because it's in that roller ball so this has been like my best friend lately <laughs>
And then as far as moisturizers go, the one I wanted to mention is the Osea Atmosphere Protection Cream. Again, Osea are a more expensive brand, but I do think this moisturizer is incredible. Really great kind of like balancing, nourishing, but doesn't make you oily. It's just a really great moisturizer, and I especially love to use this if my skin is kind of having a freak out, breakouts, dryness, got it all going on. This one is amazing. And I've talked about it a lot in the past, so I feel like I should stop babbling. Mm -hmm. Now one thing I will say is I would not recommend using all of these products at once. Different things work for different people. Some people want a treatment cleanser, some people would rather have spot treatments, facial mists, whatever. So I did just want to give you a good array of products, but I would say don't use everything at once because it may just be way too much for your skin. Maybe just try and pick up one or two items and see how your skin reacts and go from there. Because I do think sometimes if your skin is, you know, really having a freak out and you just want to try and put everything on it to help it, it can be way too much. So if anything I would say keep it super simple and maybe invest in just one really great treatment or something that you know will work for your kind of like lifestyle and um, routine. So hopefully there's something within that skincare stuff that will suit your skin. Let's move on to makeup. So even if you don't typically use a primer, I would say that when I have breakouts, as one time I am sure to use a primer, not only because I wanna make sure my makeup lasts longer, but I think if you use the right primer, breakouts are easier to cover. So whether it's like just a mammoth mountain under the skin or maybe the breakout is passed but you have a dry flaky patch or whatever it might be, even if you just apply the tiniest amount of primer to that area, I think it can really make a great difference in how you're able to cover that breakout. So one I've been really liking is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This has kind of a slight slinky feel to it. It does have a slight tint but I do think you could use this on any skin tones and I don't I don't really think it's kind of you know it doesn't show up is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what are words? So yeah it does have that kind of slight slinky feeling to it which I think just makes everything smoother and easier to cover. So especially if you are in that phase where the breakout's kind of gone and it's shrinking and the skin is dry and flaky Pop a little bit of primer on there and I do think it helps it cover better and also the makeup all over it will last longer. So this is definitely one I've found to work really well for me lately. Now as far as covering breakouts, it can be difficult because you don't want to just keep piling product on. So what I like to use are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. These are basically pure pigment in a bottle. I won't talk about how much I hate the bottle because I've done that before. So it's very, very concentrated. It can be a little drying, so I would say to be sure to use like a really good moisturizer before you start any of your makeup, put a little bit of that primer on, and then use the teeny weeniest amount of this on a tiny brush just to spot correct. So you wanna make sure the color you get is very close to your skin tone. Don't use one that's like lighter or darker. Try and get it as exact as possible. And I just apply the tiniest amount of this with a really small brush and then use a sponge over it to kind of blend it out but ideally I just like to keep this as close around the breakout as possible of course if you have redness around it blend it out over that too but I just put the tiniest amount of this on a breakout and it is awesome but it can be a little drying so you might just want to experiment with what moisturizer you use underneath or the primer but this stuff is amazing it will cover all of your sins and then I do like to use a little powder on top of that, one that is awesome because it has a little bit of coverage, it's not too thick and cakey, is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium. This stuff is awesome, it's very finely milled. Gives a little coverage, but it's just great because it doesn't get cakey, so if you do need to touch up any breakouts, again, use a tiny brush, a little bit of this, and just dust it over, and it's not going to add too much cake it's just gonna kind of like cover it back up again so I really do like that one but of course you could use any powder that you already have or that suits your skin better I just think just use the tiniest amount I think that is key with covering breakouts is start with less and you can always add a little more if you need to but I think if sometimes you add way too much over a breakout it makes it look almost more obvious than if you hadn't bothered at all so um, yeah, I would really recommend that powder. And then of course to set your makeup or if you have over powdered your breakout or if your breakout is looking like kind of dry and flaky, I would use um, just a little bit of a setting spray. This is the CoverFX Mattifying Setting Spray. Do not use anything shimmery, illuminating, highlighting on breakouts. I find that that just makes it look worse. So yeah, you can either mist this over the whole face or sometimes what I like to do if, like I said, you have over powdered, is mist a little bit on a brush and just press it into the breakout to kind of take any powderiness down. It won't make you look too matte but it's also just not going to add too much, uh, you know, hydration or moisture that it's going to, you know, enhance your blemish. 
So those are all of my breakout prone skin recommendations. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys and maybe you found something that might work for you. I would have shown you the makeup stuff in action but I actually don't have a good enough of a breakout right now to film that. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any breakout favourites you want to share or any tips and tricks, please do leave them in the comments below. I do love to open up a little convo down there and I love seeing you guys help each other out. Do let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, in case you're wondering, what I have on my lips is the Madame Glam Lipstick in Liar. I love this shade.